name is Optimus Prime. We are autonomous robotic organisms from the planet Cybertron. Hey, what's going on? This is Hannibal the Beat Animal, one third of Monty and the Mongoose's Lil Show, and you're listening to M Hall Podcast. Welcome to the MHOG Podcast. I'm your host, Wade, and my computer is broken, so Adam's using his. Yes! <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That was a great yes. That was a great that was a great lead in. Yeah, wait, 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 hold on. We got we got Hannibal on. I gotta I gotta I gotta take back that yes and do it properly. Do it you properly. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> we have we, That was Monty. <laughs> yeah. We got uh we, we have uh, uh, well, well. Let's introduce Rum for Rum. I'm sorry. Go on. That's all right. I'm I'm Rum. <laughs> sorry. So it's kind of anticlimactic at this point. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Hey, I'm, the, yeah. I'm sorry. I just, over. I just have to explain that because we have Hannibal the Beat Animal on. That's right. From Monty and the Mongoose's little show. And right. the thing is, our audience, you know, we were on their show right. they uh, just before the uh, Full Metal Full Prom. Metal Prom. But yes, y'all haven't been, you know, Monty's always like, uh, you want to do our show? Yes. Uh, yeah, let, yes. let me know. Yeah, right, yeah, we'll get it together. Uh, yeah, all, all right on it. <laughs> and the thing uh, is, yeah, I'm sorry. No, it, 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 that's, that's Monty. And then it's like, yes. you'll be like, oh, yeah, hey, Monty, I want to do this thing. He's like, yes, let me know. And then you let him know, and then you don't hear from him. Right. That's it. So. <laughs> and what our audience doesn't know, because Monty hasn't been on here, is that Monty is the black Ed McMahon. Yeah, he is. He's, he's <laughs> oh, yeah. That is right. He is exactly that. Every, he gives yeah. checks of millions of dollars away to people and shows I, up at their house with balloons? No, he's like the yes man. Everything. No, everything. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. If Ed McMahon and the Predator were like one, then it would be Monty. Or if they just had a baby. Well, but... <laughs> Well, that would be really weird since Ed McMahon's dead. So is the Predator, technically. Well, he moves around about as much as Monty does. So yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of different Predators, aren't there? I mean, it's a whole freaking well, race. There's Predators. Uh, yeah, there's, I, mean, I think there's a hockey team called the Predators. Yeah, there's a bas- yeah. basketball team, too, I think. Uh, no, yeah, that, was, be, that was the Raptors. Sorry. Yeah, there that you go. Be, They're that dinosaurs. That would be real awesome if there was a hockey team called the Sexual Predators. They would be like, <laughs> like the, the best worst team to like. That would make me start watching hockey again. Aren't, aren't all hockey teams? Te- that sounds like a music group, sexual, doesn't it? The Sexual Predators. Yeah. The sexual Predators. Yeah, they should be like a ska band at that. Like it should be like something that doesn't quite represent their name is what they should be. You know what I'm saying? Pol- a pol- pol- like a pleasant. Pol- like a clear yeah, klezmer music band, like you, you know, go. the Sexual Predators. Well, every time I've watched uh, any minute of hockey, which is mostly the Mighty Ducks, uh, they, you know, all they are is like people slamming into each other against glass. And I figure at some point somebody had to feel anally violated. Like somebody just had to be <laughs> more impacted. You so can't much. control the stick in that situation. You don't know where the stick goes. It depends on what stick you're talking about, too. Either or. I mean, <laughs> if it's a hot, you oh know. yeah. But well, you know, I mean, if, if, if hopefully you're they're wearing six, a cup and you don't feel that stick. Well, you never know. They might feel, be free. That's, bra- that's a brave hockey player not wearing a cup. They could be free balling that day. Who knows? Free balling. Yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite Tom Petty song of all time. Free balling. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> it hurts after a while though. You don't want to do it too long. You get yeah. shaped. Well, so Hannibal, you you are a man of uh, well many faces for sure. You you know yes. for masks. I brought three of them with me just because I, I, I was like, oh, we're Skyping, so I'm, let me bring a couple masks with me. And then it was like, oh, yeah, but we're not doing video. So it's, so it's, it's a phone call, but well, on you Skype, can, you can, it's a you phone can tell call us. that uses my data. Yeah, you, can, <laughs> you, can, right? you, can, you can put on a mask and tell us what you're wearing. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I got on. Well, I, my, my normal walking around mask is, is, is like a latex version of the Bane mask. From uh, uh, Dark Knight Rises, so you know, it's it's easy to it's easy to slip on. 
um and i can talk in it like i got some masks that i really really like wearing but then it's like like if i wear my normal like the normal hannibal mask is is actually a variation of the bass player's mask from slipknot so it's like a full-faced leather mask with the mouth guard like the hannibal lecter mask nice. right okay yeah. cool and uh it's cool but it's dark so it doesn't really take it doesn't really take well pictures you know what i'm saying so yeah, i have yeah. like a few a few lighter masks like i'm actually my next mask is going to be an led uh an led punisher mask that i found online they only sell the damn things in denmark and it's like 350 bucks yeah. so i'm trying to get that for my birthday in october so my birthday always falls right before halloween so i'm gonna get all my friends to get together and say hey guys i i need this mask so that could be the next one. Any of our listeners in Denmark, if you'd like to uh, just, help out with the mask, just send them one. Come on, yeah, send them one. I mean, you're probably getting it in Denmark for like two ninety five. Oh yeah, well, I mean, I, like, what do they use out? In, what do they use in Denmark? Are they do they use the euro or do they use ruples? Or I think the, I think they're doing euro, euros right now. I thought they used yeah. to be Deutschmark. Yeah, yeah, it used oh, to okay, be yeah, that's what I was thinking of. I think everything think, everything is euros now. Unfortunately, yeah, I think that's just falling. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> look at that. We had we we had a had a had us a brief moment where we talked about geopolitical economics and then all of the the talk. <laughs> we we're like, man, that's that was deep shit. I know. <laughs> my, my, brain, sorry, my brain went somewhere else. I apologize. Um, <laughs> you know, when you wear masks all the time, do your friends spend a lot of time trying to sneak up on you? No, it, it absolutely never happens. Like when you wear a mask all the time. It's it oh man it's so surreal. It's like like people ask me like the 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 number one question people ask me is which mask is my because I have sixty masks all right like I I counted them I I have sixty masks and people always ask me the number one question is which mask is my favorite mask to have sex in that that is the most popular question. That's a good that question. Well, well, technically the question should be which is your girlfriend's favorite mask. Yeah, she doesn't really have much of a say in that matter. Like, it's... <laughs> Back kinda... to sexual predators. Uh... Yeah, 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 what's up with that? <laughs> yeah, I kind of just, you know, wear whichever one I'm hey, feeling like. That but, but what's your usual answer for that question? I, I have two Obama masks, um, and I, I like to, to <laughs> wear one of the Obama masks. Was that masks. Like comedy and tragedy Obama? or what? what... While, while making Obama, like, references during sex, like about, like, health care, and like you know, bringing out <laughs> home shit like that. So, uh, but you know, like, you know, on, 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 we've, been together, we've been together a year and we've had sex a lot, and I just, it does not get old, man. I'm just still every time I enjoy it. It's like it's like the pull my finger joke. It's like a classic, but it works. So I just have, have you ever I, looked at her in the Obama mask and said, "I'm sorry, uh, young lady, but tonight there's not going to be any uh, condoms included in this health care bill." <laughs> 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 or if you get on top, you, you yell out after the summit. <laughs> Condoms. That's funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, the only, the only thing I'll head I cover up is one on my, my shoulders. <laughs> but you know, uh, in a way, don't we all wear masks? Yeah, I mean, look, it's just, it's, it's, so I, I, I tell people, like, I became Hannibal totally by accident. Like, I started wearing it, like, like like every once in a while and then it just kind of became more than that now i just wear masks all the time that's cool and and what do you do for a living um when i'm so see, hard okay this, this is this is kind of an unfair question because i could tell you guys the truth but then it was suck because then like i gonna do know where you work <laughs> so I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and say it i'll say it you know but it's just like I'm, i actually work uh at phillips arena in downtown atlanta so i work where oh, the wow cool play basketball but Very cool nobody nobody's there knows that i'm hannibal so it's like they'll be like oh you're on facebook you're on instagram i was like no <laughs> well hannibal, I, I can totally relate to that because no one uh in my family has any idea that i do podcasts like i'm you know nobody knows like they 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 most of them have seen the buck lightning account but yeah. They have no clue what I do in my days and nights. What do they think? You're a ham operator or something? Uh, they think I like ham. I was about to say, the only ham he's operating <laughs> is on a sandwich. Uh, <laughs> by the way, uh, when, I heard, when I heard you tell the story about your uh, coworker who got to see Katy Perry naked, uh, yeah. I, Wayne and I decided that we are going to work for you. Yes. Um, How did that happen? Yes. Is it Okay, so sometimes oh, during oh, concerts, 
sometimes during concerts, like the the um like where the the part of the building that I work in um has peoples. Yeah, it, it's um no, it's just sometimes when people are getting dressed during concerts, like where the staging area is, like they don't right. have time to run back to the dressing room because sure. the dressing room is 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 a, is a little ways away from where the stage is. So it would take them too long. So what they'll do is just get dressed in like a hallway right by the stage. And sure. as it just turned out for Katy Perry, there was like little to no security, and she was just completely naked. And it was just like every time I see this guy, we call him Long Head on Kid Jason. And whenever I see long hair, don't care, Jason, because we got a bunch of Jasons there and he got long hair and he doesn't care. So, <laughs> so it's like long hair, long hair. Hello? Oh, shit. What happened? Dang. Oh, fuck me. And John will always love you. And he's back! I'm back! Hey, you right. back! Man, you missed the musical interludes there. It was awesome. Oh, and I, you, you had us all, like, worked up and shit, and all that's of a sudden, right. you were like, my, and then... I had my pants around my away. ankles, I was waiting for Katie <laughs> Perry City. So I, I was like, this is a great story, and it went away. What the fuck? It was gone. I was we sorry. tried to, I we was tried to add to it, but it didn't do it justice. No. no. So, I'm we, sorry, I just, I don't, I don't even know what happened. It was like the call was there, and then it was just, it wasn't uh, there anymore. I, I think it's, it's because just, long-haired, what is his name, long-haired? Hey, long-haired, don't care. Mike? Jason? Jason. Yeah, he fucked it up. Oh, wait. Damn. Oh, it's trying to fuck. Trying to it's trying to fuck. fuck. No, the fucking phone. <laughs> <is there. laughs> trying to fuck. This is awesome. And he's back. <laughs> We're back again. I got it. I got it. Okay. I, I think I figured out what I did. I figured out. So apparently on my Blackberry, like I can't minimize the the Skype screen. It just <laughs> close. It just, it just ends Skype. It just, everything just come. So I have to just stay right on the screen. I can't browse the internet. I can't check my text messages. You can't do porn. shit. I ain't nothing. That's nothing why, at all. That's why Damn you, Blackberry. That's why Blackberry is going yeah. out of business. You know what? Okay. Like every, in every other aspect of Blackberry rocks ass it's just in this one it was just ass it sucks. So. <laughs> all right ready mark go, go with your story <laughs> oh i, I don't <laughs> where was i i, I, I don't remember you, you were telling so me long hair jason was looking jason. through a glory hole yeah <laughs> by the way i love that, that rum thinks that they have peepholes at the phillips arena in atlanta <laughs> they don't <laughs> they got a pacific arena in pittsburgh why would they have them there yeah there's that is it's, it's cool. Like, working at Phillips Arena is, is kind of cool. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what a tease. What a tease. <laughs> oh, this is all going in there, by the way. <laughs> this is fucking crazy, dude. Everybody listening, one, t- one time with us. What a tease. I love, I love this. Hannibal's an awesome guest, and then we keep getting, I, I think the, just add him. There he is again. All right. All right. I think you're fucking with us okay. at this point. <laughs> no, I, 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 okay. I, I didn't do it. I didn't do anything that time. The call was just gone. I just looked up and I just wasn't talking to anybody anymore. Uh, I see so what I was it, just like. Uh, maybe you got to stare at your screen. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe, that, maybe that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, you're scaring it. Stop maybe, it. That's maybe it. your bosses are listening to this show and like really upset that you're telling the story. It's like every time you're getting ready <laughs> to say something. Phillips Arena, and I think it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, they, and they just, they just like uh, last week, Microsoft had a conference at uh at at Phillips Arena, and they rented out the building for like a week. Um, and they, and they had like all these big wigs come down. Steve Ballmer was there and shit. Uh, uh, fucking uh, Bill Gates was there and shit. And they were all just talking about just various Microsoft things. They talked about how much money Xbox lost on the Xbox One because it was too expensive for regular people to buy. Uh, yeah. did they did they also talk about how glad they are that. Uh, Steve Jobs is dead. They 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 didn't uh, openly say that they were happy about it, but I did notice that some of the uh, the the people from Microsoft Japan did have like like Steve Jobs like like coffin shirts on. You, know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you did notice the little grave site that that they had put up that they danced upon on the stage, yeah, like I, and it, and, I did it, and in every Xbox title now. If you walk past a grave site, they'll have his name on a stone. Yeah. I'll tell you what, man. 
uh, there was like a lot of people here, uh, you know, for the conference that were from different, you know, all different parts of the world, like Microsoft, Iceland, Marcus, Microsoft, uh, Sweden, Microsoft, Japan, fucking Brazil, Buenos Aires. Um, there were like people from all over the place. I mean, like Microsoft, Johannesburg. And let me tell you, those motherfuckers are filthy. They're like the dirtiest, <laughs> nastiest people I've ever seen in my life. Like, it's I want like, you to like invest- ass in curry. I want you to imagine a scenario where there's a water machine, like a water dispenser, like a Kentwood water machine, and then there's a giant trash can, and then there's another water machine, right? So it's like water cooler, trash can, water cooler, right? right. These motherfuckers would like get like a, a burrito wrap or whatever, take a couple bites of it, and then just shit the, the wrap on top of the water machine. But there's a trash can sitting in between two water. <laughs> like it was just like they were just throwing trash on the floor. This isn't like a banquet hall. This is Phillips fucking arena. Okay, this is like a really nice place to be at. It would just be like like we got the New Orleans arena, Superdome, like, like any any giant sporting event. These motherfuckers just were like biting shit, throwing it on the floor. Now, if you see that during a basketball game or like a, a, a so I was about to say a WNBA game, but there's nobody there to throw anything on the floor. Um, <laughs> I didn't know they still existed, to be honest with you. Yeah, no, I, 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 I got a challenge for you right now. How people like doing like dumbass, you know, challenges on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and shit like that. I got one. It's the WNBA challenge. See how fast you can name five teams in the WNBA. Oh shit! All I know is Lisa Leslie's name. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know any teams that like. I don't I know even know she. Like, I don't even know she plays anymore. The Sparks. Yeah, the, the what now? The Sparks. Is that a real team or did no, you make them up? No, no that's, that's a real team. That is not I, I think, a real team. That that's a, a real it is a real team. team. No, that's the basketball team off of that stupid uh, Joanna no, Man movie. No, the Sparks, man. That's a real team. See, somebody has to Google uh, that. The Mighty Ducks. Uh, no, that's a hockey team. The Time of the Month. The, uh, <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the Outrage. Summer, summer's Eve. <laughs> the not so fresh. I don't know. <laughs> I got one. The I don't care where we eat. You pick. Yeah, no, that? that's a good that's one. My favorite. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. The no you know, really. And, go and, hang out with your that friends. team. The the uh, the counter team to that is I picked last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. You're right. That is that's it. That's, that's a good one. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, man. Uh, these, these, yeah, these, these motherfuckers were, were absolutely filthy. They were just dropping trash everywhere. Like, so I had to stop my normal responsibilities and just get a team of guys together whose job it was. Mind you, we have people whose jobs it is is just to go and pick up trash. I had to go c- grab a collection of people and just be like, "Hey, our task is just picking up the trash from the and corner." You, and you know what? That's exactly why they do it, especially when they're from other places like that they're just you know we're we're so and so and the help does this that's where, how they do it where were they from again where Buenos Aires and and, and all those other oh, really? places because it, it, because they, they've got a bit of prestige now so the help will do it it's those people yeah. and you're going to find them in every culture they're just they're fucking entitled they just think that everybody else is there to cater to them so they can do, I'm, I'm surprised you didn't speech out and I'm gonna fucking post it on the internet in between like I don't know, pictures of, like, black people doing no, shit. No, no. It's going to be like, it's just those people. The free culture. I'm surprised you don't catch people just taking a dump in the middle of a hall and wiping it with, wiping their ass with, like, the tablecloth and then walking away. We did at Katrina, but, you know, that was a whole different story. I didn't. I was living on a farm. I, I think that was just, you know, because you've been wanting to do that for a long time. No, no, I mean, we had them do that at the Superdome. They shit oh, yeah. in the hallways. Well, they didn't have nowhere to go, to be fair. Well, that's Patrick's Day in Savannah. Oh, yeah, I know. Wait, yeah. you, everybody shit. I, I'm not motherfucking moving to Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> this shit ain't happening. He really is, he really is upselling Savannah right now. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Hey. Same well, because, because Savannah is invaded by all those people. Sometimes they just go, oh, look, there's like... Those people? Yeah, you hear them again now. He's God damn, bro. bro. What the fuck? Those, those entitled people. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't put words in my mouth. I do that on my own. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he fucking zoomed out again. That's all right. When he comes back, maybe we'll get to talk to him about his band. Yeah. Yes, yeah. start with the band because it could only last 30 seconds. Fucking... Yeah. Yeah. It was back again. <laughs> Quick, before you before you fade out again, tell us about your band. Yes. <laughs> the, um. All right. So I have a group that I manage and produce called uh, the Bastards. It's uh uh they're like 
Man, I, I always tell people they're like Linkin Park mixed with uh somebody else, but that's not really true. I, I always tell people they're like they're like uh Linkin Park mixed with the Fuji's, but they're like they're like the black eyed peas if the black eyed peas said nigga a whole lot. Like it was just <laughs> that's the best way how to just that's the best that's the best way how to display. Oh, by the way, I have a video that I'm working on soon. That's that's gonna be called the difference between niggas and ninjas. You know, cause I'm, you know, like for a while it got real popular. People were like, oh, what's up, my ninja? It's like, no, niggas and ninjas are two different things. All right, so just like you know, <laughs> what's what's right? what, what is the main difference? Well, all right, if you're a member of the League of Shadows, you're probably not a nigga. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, that's, <laughs> that's how you can tell the difference. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, I mean, they might they might be some niggas in the League of Shadows. I don't know. Rob, Rob, I, I, I just can't imagine who's accepting those applications and stuff like that. So that would be cool. I would love to see Black Dynamite in the League of Shadows. That might be badass. I'd like to see a pimp named Slipback, you know, in the League of Shadows. That might be cool as hell. But, you know, so, um, being judgmental now, hold on. Race would let in Ray Ray and Little Joe. Yeah, but that would be. Yeah, I yeah. think so. I think Race doesn't care. I think Race... You know, as long as he gets to live forever, I think, you know, and I'm sure he slept with quite a few black women. But I think our problem is. He's probably got little interracial babies all know, over the place. You know, they're going to start letting in people like the Wayans brothers, though. Yeah. And, that, and you don't and want no, that. You don't want that. That, that, that rule is no fucking move. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, you let in Damon and Damon Jr. Well, you know which Wayans Keenan. brothers I'm talking about. I'm I not know, talking about the real ones. Look, Marlon... Well, no, we're talking about Sean and Marlon. That's, those are the ones you don't want to let in. Exactly. Marlon right. was killed I, first. I knew what you meant. I knew exactly what you meant. Thank you. <laughs> but when did, we, when did we, as a culture, decide that those two got to be the Wayans brothers? Because that's what they were posted by. Fuck them. Yeah, that's how they, that's how they promote They're themselves. No. Yeah. It's like it's like they don't care about family. Who They're the Wayne brothers. That? Who let them have those movies? I guess the other brothers. They were like, Man, we don't want to do this shit no more. Go ahead. Some some Jewish guy did. You know, I just what? all I know is their mama made Keenan let them on in living color. Yep. And so their mother's to blame. <laughs> if that woman is dead, I hope she burns in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Even Evan Damon doesn't make up for that shit. <gasps> you know what? I I can't disagree with that. I can't disagree with that logic. It was probably capacity. the same person, same woman that let uh, let Jim Carrey on. Well, you know, like, when he was him. on In Living Color. Jim Jim Carrey was funny. Yeah. It was just when he got movies. Like, by the way, did anybody see the trailer for Dumb and Dumb and Dumber Two T O? No. I, no, it. I didn't see the trailer. I look, I'm not a I'm not a fan of Dumb and Dumber, but I can at least appreciate why people find that funny. Right. This movie looks so bad. It's not. I mean, I don't. I can't even describe how. All, I think it, this move, this movie is just like when you're dealing with politics. It's all on name recognition. They're hoping to, to generate a buck. Yeah, but just from the title. I've been waiting for this movie for what, fifteen, twenty years? Yeah. Nobody is waiting on Dumb and Dumber after fans fifteen are. years. Oh yeah, dude, I would, fans are. I'm all about it. Are you serious? No, I, yeah. No, I, I I have like like my production partner, uh, uh, Ace Wonder, is like if you ask his favorite movie of all time is Dumb and Dumber, and when he when he heard, first heard about Dumb and Dumberer, he was very upset that Jeff Daniels was not in that movie. Well, neither one of them were in that movie. Well, no, but he was especially upset. That Jeff Daniels was not. Oh, I don't understand why anybody is waiting on that. The first one was okay at best. Come on, dude. He gets the, the a people that are fans of that movie love that yeah. movie. They well, think it's look. It's just like Anchorman. Look, I think Anchorman's okay. Yeah, I'm but the man. people that love Anchorman love Anchorman. Right. You know what? You know what it is about Anchorman is. I guess. I guess I could see the thing with Dumb and Dumber. Then it's not that it's it's the movie that's great. It's the specific scenes in the movie that make the movie. You know what I'm saying? It's it, it's moments, not the movie. Like in Anchorman, like the, ball the frickin, moments. The the freaking fight scene in Anchorman. Oh, that's the great. That's the best part of the whole movie. Uh, uh the the sing along in the office uh, with the uh, with the, after the cologne the afternoon, 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 afternoon delight. delight afternoon yeah. delight. Yeah, that's that's funny. The the part where he's at the at the desk and he says uh and he he changes her cue cards and she says and I'm Tits McGee. That's funny. <laughs> but not, that's after really that, funny. those three moments, the movie's crap. You know what I think the funniest part of that movie was? Was the credits when they were pulling out the shit that they screwed up. Yeah. And, and he said that San Diego was a whale's vagina. <laughs> and I couldn't stop fucking laughing. At that. <laughs> they should have left that movie, that in the movie. <laughs> I just want to yeah. go. I just want to go back to something that Hannibal said a minute ago. So you're sitting with Ace Wonder, 
and he right. tells you that his favorite movie of all time is Dumb and Dumber. How do you respond to that? It's look, it's weird because we've been doing music together for 16 years, right? And we met over a mutual love of Popeye's Chicken and Wu Tang Clan. Yeah, so, that's how that's, hey. how that's how me and Rum met. That's that's yeah. the magic right there. <laughs> yeah, and it was like so. It's like musically, like we get along great. Like we love like so much of the same shit. Like we love the same sports, the same teams, the same like all kind. Like everything else is great, but it's like my best friend just likes shitty movies. Like he just <laughs> he like he likes like a ninety minute comedy. Like that's what he wants. And I mean, there's there's always an exception here or there. Like believe it or not, he loves The Watchmen. Loves Dark Knight. Um, but like anything else, like he'll watch like a movie like Sin City and he'll be like, yo man, this movie is amazing. This is a dope ass piece of cinema. He's like, oh, awesome. So you liked it? No. <laughs> well, here's the thing though. I, I understand the part where he likes that movie. I, and you know what, regardless of my taste and being different, I understand that part, but I, I'll put it to you this way. I had a customer in the store the other day over at BSI that walked in and he, he was like, did you guys see X-Men Days of Future Past? We were like, uh-huh. yeah. And he goes, that is the greatest movie of all time. That is the greatest a- movie in the history of cinema. There is nothing. And, like, this dude just goes off. He broke hyperbole with his description of how good this movie was. <laughs> and when somebody comes to me and is like, Dumb and Dumber is the greatest movie of all time, I have questions. Not about whether or not you like that movie, but about what have you seen and how yeah. do you come up with that ranking? No, I, look, I, I, I stopped dating a girl in college because her favorite movie of all time was Resident Evil 2. So. <laughs> Good choice. I was, Good I was choice. Like, I, yeah, and I was like, now mind you, you know, she's seen Shawshank Redemption, she's seen Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, she's seen E.T. and fucking Forrest Gump. She's seen, you know, uh, The Sound of Music and fucking Fight Club. She's seen all these movies. And she was like, yeah, all those movies are really good. But Resident Evil really speaks to my – Resident Evil 2 really speaks to my soul. I just I, – I can't do wow, it. Wow, that, that yeah. is like probably the only person <laughs> in the world that it hit on that level. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. guess not. They're on like Resident Evil 27, 27 and a yeah. half. You know? you know, that's almost the, as bad. And as those are like movies. sci-fi original movies anymore. I mean, I oh yeah, they're bad. Even, they're bad. Uh, they were like that to begin with. It's, it's like as Resident as somebody, Sharknado. Yeah, as if somebody fucking says that their favorite movies that you ever seen Hot Rod. I uh, know it. Oh not, yeah. Not, 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 no, 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 I haven't seen it, but I would laugh out loud if somebody told me that that was their favorite movie of all time. That like, yeah, I've, is I've seen the great movies. All but right, no, Hannibal. This, you're on the spot. What's your favorite movie? Come on. Pulp Fiction. I look, I I know my one through nine without even breaking a sweat. It's Pulp Fiction, Fight Club, Memento, Snatch. Um, and then like five through nine get kind of wonky. It's like the Abyss, Terminator, Aliens. I got a James Cameron hard on. We'll talk about that later. It's actually Terminator <laughs> 2. Uh Labyrinth. Yeah, Terminator 2 is good. Uh Labyrinth, David Bowie. Um what is that? That's what's creepy. Um uh, see Abyss, Labyrinth, uh Terminator 2, Aliens. What am I forgetting? What's what what did I forget? Willy Wonka. Apparently you lied. You can't just rattle off. Yeah, what? <laughs> okay. Well, I know I one. Know, th- of, Wayne, of, Wayne, your number one movie. Star Wars, dude. Hands down. Adam, yours. Actually, it'll be Empire Strikes Back. I don't know that I have one anymore. I used yours to. Is to yours is to sew an American quilt. Shut up. <laughs> you know what? That was so funny that I. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, over no, I, I mean, I have like certain movies that used to be my favorite. Like, you know, at one point. Either A New Hope or Return of the Jedi. Yes, I know Empire Strikes Back is the one that everyone says is the best one, and I understand it. But as for me as a kid, I think Return of the Jedi was the one that I enjoyed the most. Because the one you remember the most. No, I remember all of them from beginning to end. But whatever. I mean, but, I mean, like as a kid though, uh, there was that, that was probably the first one you got to see in the theater. Um, I didn't see any in the theater. I, I was too young. Oh, theater. shut up! You saw them all in the theater. <laughs> Um, hey, look, Hannibal. <laughs> oh, no, he's still there. All right. Yeah, he's still there. Uh, I'm still here. All right, all right, right point, second. Garden State was, was my favorite at one point. Um, wow. Uh, Avengers might be my current favorite movie. Really? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. That movie. Well, I can great explain time. it. Now, and you know, and it's funny because you're going to see Guardians of the Galaxy tonight, hopefully. And yeah. uh, I was thinking about Guardians of the Galaxy in terms of why what it means to me. And so I started thinking, well, when X-Men came out and X2, those were the movies that I've been waiting my whole life to see. And then there's certain movies following from that. Right. Iron Man, uh, Avengers, 
And each time one of these, oh, Spider-Man, each time one of these movies came out, it was like, I never thought in my life I'd see these movies. Yeah, yeah. And I think I've reached the plateau with Guardians of the Galaxy, because Guardians of the Galaxy, I've been a fan of that, it, variations on that property, since I was 13 years old. Right, right, right. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah well, dude. the well, this, the version of it that's in the movie hasn't. The version of it in the movie was created in 2006, 2005, roughly. Um, but okay. the Guardians of the Galaxy concept has been around since the seventies. Like, like it's, right, I was gonna, it's I was going to say, but I I have a ton of Guardians of the Galaxies from the seventies. I'll give you half of them the next time I'm in New Orleans. Okay. <laughs> I'll take them. Like, I, I I do. Like I got a bunch of the, like the seventies Guardians of the Galaxies, the Inhumans. Um, I had like a bunch of like old like, and it's funny because when I first heard they were making. I stopped reading comics in, uh, like, aggressively reading comics in, like, 1996, 1997, mm-hmm. something like that. And I, I remember I remember the exact moment. I can tell you exactly when it happened. It was right around the, the original birth of the 2099 Marvel series, and it was when Peter Parker became Ben Riley. That was <laughs> That was when I was like – because at that time, like, I'm in high school, and – Comic books were comic books were like 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 you know two fifty three dollars you know a comic and it was like at that time there were like four different Spider Man comics out you know it was like uh you know the Amazing Spider Man Spectacular Spider Man the Friendly Neighborhood Web Slinger and then there was one that was just called Spider Man and it's like every week I'm shelling out like I'm sh- it's costing me more money to eat yeah because that's beer it's, it's money cost- man. Yeah, it, it was costing me just way too much. And at that point, when it was like, "Oh, Spider Man really cloned Ben Riley," I said, "Okay, I'm done. This, I'm, I'm, fuck this." I, uh, I, 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 don't lie, man. I mean, that was actually '97 uh, was the time I originally got out of comics. You know, don't, uh, don't, don't, don't lie, man. You discovered titties at that time, and that's why you were like, "I'm done." Hannibal saw his first boob. No, man. I look. I had discovered titties way before then, and it was like <laughs> it's way cheaper to see comics than it is to see titties. So yep. it was just. But then it was. It, but then he started raising the price on you. So you were like, well, titties are looking a lot better. I discovered titties yeah. with coming to America in DC cab. Nice. nice. <laughs> really? <laughs> my, yes. my, my titty exposure was uh, Porky's. Oh, well, you know what? Oh, I, okay. Because you, you got a little bush in that one, too. <laughs> yes, you did. That's also where my glory hole fetish comes from. <laughs> I, I, I can't even yes, remember was, the first time. That was, the, that was definitely the first time I'd ever experienced the uh, – I had ever heard about a glory hole was Porky's. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that, that, I think that, that made it mainstream, that movie. Yeah. yeah. Well, just, just to finish my thought real quick, though, like Guardians of the Galaxy is a movie that if you told me two – I guess two and a half years ago before they announced they were doing it, that that was going to come out, I would have laughed in your face. And slapped yeah. you for saying stupid things. Well, you kind of did when they when they when they first came out. You were like, "This is going to be a terrible fucking movie." You, I never said that. Yes, well, you did. Go actually. listen back to one of our shows. You said, "I think this was going to be a flop." That's exactly what you said. I might have said that I don't see this catching on with audiences. I didn't say it would be a terrible movie. You said that well, because I actually like agreed that. with you on it and said you that uh, I was the only one stupid. I I yeah. have a I had a hard time believing that audiences would pick this up. But that's not the same as saying it would be a terrible movie. And I was like, there's I plenty of movies that I right. like that don't people yeah, don't pick yeah. up. Hannibal, what what would you if you were to foresee a new superhero movie? What where where what do you think would be a, a blockbuster hit? Okay, so you're gonna laugh. Um, okay, Alpha Flight. I, I think they should make an Alpha Flight movie. I think I think Canada's top superhero team needs their own movie. Yeah. I can see that. They can, they can interact. They can have Wolverine come in. Uh, no. Yeah. Actually, you know what? That might be, that would have, probably have to be a, a Fox movie. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, because Alpha Flight's one of these weird comic book properties that just somehow ends up being mixed in with another property. Like, it's basically an X-Men title. Right. Because at some point in the 90s, actually it might have been the late 80s, Marvel was like, you know, we keep trying to make Alpha Flight work, and nobody's buying it whether it's good or not. Let's just point out that half of them are mutants, and we'll just make it a de facto <laughs> X Men team. And yeah. people bought it for a while. Yeah, and then they threw the the what, what the I forget what his name is when he came out of the closet. North Star. Yeah, yeah, I have that issue. I have it too. Uh, of course whatever. you do. It didn't bother. But, what does that, that mean? mean? <laughs> <laughs> Queer. Yeah, 
anyway. <laughs> stop, being, stop being gay. You bought a comic book where a man came out. You're man. Gay. You're gay, boy. Gay. I don't know. You know what trust me out about that? Like, this is what, what I love about or what I hate you about our gays. Mind. Yes, I do. <laughs> Uh, what I hate about modern culture, when North Star came out, that was the first openly gay superhero. That was 1995, I want to say. And it was kind of a big deal, but it wasn't a big deal. You know, like people yeah. were like, oh, well, all right, so there's a gay superhero, yeah. whatever. Now, anytime somebody comes out as gay in a comic, people or the world, or kiss, world they're like, oh, my God. We have to put all the media attention on this. It's it's a brand new thing. Comics are finally being accepted, accepting of whatever, whatever. And people, I, I mean, look, I know culturally we have leagues to go, and whether it's race relations, sexual relations, too, yeah. you know, gender relations, whatever you want to call them, but I don't think things were as bad in my childhood as people make it out to be, and I don't think things are as fucked up no, I as think they it's try to worse make it out now. Like. Because of how, because people are pushing all this, yeah. You know, I think I think it's so much in the media that it's making people a, it's making people sexist, it's making mm. people racist, it's making people hate each other because it's in your fucking face so much. Yeah, if mm. it, if it wasn't in your face so much, no one really gave a shit. Right. Mm. It's like I didn't give yeah. a fuck who was. I mean, because made. because you're giving people a platform to like or dislike. So if you're throwing is like pick, you know, pick pick A or B. That's what they're giving. They're like, oh, I'm going to pick B. I'm going to pick A. So you're giving them. It's like, oh, well, half the people like this and the other half like this. Who the fuck cares? Really? Yeah. I mean, just, you know, be what you be and be happy and the fuck everything else. A guy or two. And don't, yeah. you know, you don't have to be overly this or overly that. Just fucking get along and shut the fuck up. It's a short life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah, I was a. I, I actually have a great. Uh, so when I'm uh when I sometimes when I'm at Phillips Arena, I'll uh you know like we we might run out of uh crown, right? Right. Yeah. So I'll just fill up all the crown bottles with Canadian Club and then just sell it. I don't there tell anybody go. I'm doing it. I just, <laughs> I just, I just do it. Nobody gives you shit. And nobody cares. Like nobody. Like if if I ever had somebody drink it and be like, oh, this tastes funny. It's gay. It's just, then I'd be like, oh, you know what? I tried to pull a North Star. I'm sorry. I'm. I you called me. But it's just like. But nobody's ever said anything about it. Nobody. No, and I'm most like, people that at, at, when they're places like that, they're like, you know, they're they're ordering Crown because someone's beside them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're not ordering Crown for themselves. They're ordering yeah. actually Crown I, because people, buy, people are around. I think people buy gra- uh, Crown because they want a bag to put their marbles in. That's it. They want a yeah. bag for the D and D dice. That's all they <laughs> yeah. want. That is. That, that's, that's I got true. all excited that's about that. So, that's because I, I got a crown bag full of D and D dice. So Hannibal, my, my, <laughs> my production partner always says that um. He feels like American Idol was the worst thing to happen to our culture because it made everybody think that their opinion mattered, and it doesn't. Like, a lot of people's opinions, like, hey, man, nobody cares what you think. Like, I, you know, it's like, oh, but I pay tax. I don't care. No, I think, nothing, I, I think the actually, that. actually, I got to disagree with that. I think the worst thing ever put into society was the real world from MTV. Oh, yeah. yeah because I, I, that spawned reality yeah. television. Yeah. What I think uh, well, about American well, Idol popular. is... But that didn't popularize it. It was like oh, like yeah, God, it did. around really for a while. It. When did it no, when did it get to the point where it was like this this thing that was like thrust in our face all the time where it was, it was Survivor. Just like, right. Uh, uh, Hannibal's Hannibal's saying that yeah, it was popular, but it didn't make it a thing where everyone was doing it. No, it, it's definitely Survivor is what spawned the fucking like reality T V craze. Mm-hmm. Actually, what really what really did it was the writer's strike. Well, yeah, I, I understand that. Yeah. What, what I'm saying yeah. is, like, show wise, I, 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 popularity for I don't know. I really, I really it. feel like the real world was the first quote unquote reality TV show that oh. really made the concept for those writers to come up with the other it, shows. It was certainly one of them. Well, yeah. but, but it didn't. It took like another ten years before it became wherever you have was to. Doing. You have to look at it this way, Rom. If you didn't have cable. You didn't get to see real world. But if you didn't have cable, you could still watch Survivor. Well, look at it like this, okay? When when phonographs were invented, there was like eight people with phonographs and a Wait, bunch of old true? assholes who were like, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> there was a bunch of old assholes who were like, that shit's never going to catch on. Nobody's going to want uh, to listen to music where somebody doesn't come to your house and play a fiddle in front of you. That's the same <laughs> thing. Well, just think about the, this. That's the same thing that Fender faced when he created the electric guitar. Right, or any kind of music. 
So Hannibal, I, uh, on, on, I would love if somebody came to my house and played a fiddle for me right now. That actually would be awesome. That's, that's badass. Rome? What? Yeah. Do you know how to play the fiddle? No, actually, I don't know how to play the fiddle. Uh, I, was uh, say I, the was, fiddle. I always <laughs> wanted to learn to play the fiddle, but I, I, I would make a deal with the devil. Look, the you can come over to my house and fiddle with my balls if you want. No, I, I don't have that type. Of, <laughs> I don't, I don't have that type of time to drive down there, and I wouldn't waste my five minutes. Well, you know, all I need is five minutes. It don't matter. Well, that's <laughs> I, that's because you're soft, you heard it first. That's your soft, tender. Hands. I like that the rum guy gave you that kind of endurance. Yeah, like, yeah. He was like, "Yeah, I'll come over and jerk you off." I was trying to be nice. I was trying to be nice. You know, five minutes. <laughs> that or, that or the rum guy wasn't going to put that much effort into jerking just, you off. It takes three minutes to get around mine. Well, he, was, he was going to put it in his mouth. That's why. He's going to put it. No, because then <laughs> why would I do that? Hannibal boy ain't never coming on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was just thinking to myself, like, I think ball fiddling should be like a new Olympic sport. Like, we could get rid of. <laughs> get rid of we curling. We get rid of an. Yeah. We, well, actually, I don't, I don't, I don't mind curling. I don't mind Olympic sweeping. Um, because I think, you know, I think more women need to be inspired to be like, you know, like, you can get a gold medal in this shit, baby, okay? Like, you could, for real, like, can we get Olympic vacuuming and just call it something else? You know else what? I, I would agree with you uh, about curling, but I've seen the movie Men with Brooms, and yeah. the problem is, I've seen how seriously they take that shit in Canada, and it's I can't hardcore. sign on with that. I cannot, they, they, like, when these people fucking play curling... And by the way, they don't actually curl shit, so I don't understand what the fuck, you know, it's like big ass <laughs> marbles, you know, it's yeah. it's marbles and brooms, okay? Yeah. I'd play marbles and brooms if you told me that. Curling yeah. makes it sound like I gotta lift shit. Well, yeah. the, well that, that's where it came from because the prepare. the weights the weights that they throw, those marble weights that they throw, actually used to be used for lifting. Rumbles so thus curling and they throw them now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's 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 like factual shit right there, man. When, Bam. When I first heard that, I was like, what the hell is curling? I thought it was a weightlifting sport. Mm-hmm. And and then when they told me no, then the next thing I like I told you, the first thing I thought was was somebody fixing somebody's hair. Mm-hmm. And I'm going, yeah. that's an Olympic sport, <laughs> curling? <laughs> curling. <laughs> you know you know the official food of curling, right? Curling fries. <laughs> Nice. God nice. damn it! That's what he was going with too. You suck, nice. bitch. Nice. I like that. I like well, that. I like that you. I like that you just alley ooped it to the towards the rim. You didn't care who <laughs> caught it just now. That was yeah. awesome. <laughs> what is it? Curly fries. Bam. Um. So Hannibal, what you're known for on the little show is uh, being naked. What? I am. I am naked often on the little show. So yeah, knew that, that is that is a fact. You just made our guests really uncomfortable. I know. Um, I did it on purpose. <laughs> but at <laughs> least it's good to know that you do that to men and women. I do. I make, all, yeah. I make all people. Hannibal, he hasn't, he hasn't proposed to you. That's how you know you have a penis. Um, <laughs> Hannibal, will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> I um, I um, no. All right. Well, you know, hey, I just put it out there. Whatever. Fuck it. But uh, <laughs> what you're known for on the show is what's eating Hannibal. Oh Lord! <laughs> yeah, I, I I have I have some pretty epic rants from time to time. Um, you know my favorite one, well, the, the the most memorable one is I went off on New Yorkers for a while. Um, <laughs> I really do I really do despise New Yorkers. Um, I, I there's a video on Facebook right now of like this puppet uh from New York talking to tourists about how not to be all touristy in New York, and it was just it's so god awful to me. It's just like oh just. I, just, I, I agree with you totally. I, I have friends that have moved to New York, and it's weird because my, my problem with, uh, like, New York's a wonderful city. It's the people. Yeah. And, like, you, yeah. you, you meet people, and they, they, go, they move to New York, and it's like, it's like fucking a zombie infection. Like, they get infected within a few weeks. And all of a sudden they're talking to you like you don't know shit because you're not from this one city. From from New York, right? And that's that's the the thing about New Yorkers that bothers the dog shit out of me. You know, no matter no matter where you're from, and no matter what conversation you're having, at some point in 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 a conversation with a New Yorker, you can say something that they disagree with, and they be like, "You don't know. You're not from New York." It's like mm-hmm. what? Like it doesn't matter what you're talking about. And mind you, like I, I work with a lot of rappers, so every I, of course there's a lot of New Yorkers that cross my path. And then when they start talking to me about music, it's like, well, you don't know. I'm from New York. I know. I'm like, that doesn't make you an authority on everything because you're a New Yorker. Like you know. So anyway, I'm sorry. I about agree to with that. Well, there's also that whole idea that it's the greatest city on earth, and I'm like, what? No. What? What is? What is your? How, how do you define 
greatest. Like, it's, the same, I, it's the same way with your movie. It's great self-promotion for a you know, city is what it is. Like, like how is Dumb and Dumber the best movie ever? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's if, the thing that, that bugs me about people that make, you know, make the declarations like that. They cannot qualify why. Yeah. You know, like, right. this, this is the greatest city on earth. Why? It's New York. I... What makes it great? I don't understand. Well, right. well I can explain to you, like, I, I, anytime I Please like a movie, a no people. matter how bad a movie is, like, I can tell you why I I enjoyed Transformers, whatever the fuck the last name was. Mm. I can tell you why. Mm. Even if that's a shitty movie, I can tell you why. But what drives me crazy is when people have strong opinions, but they don't have any explanation for why they have that opinion. Right. Right. Look, yeah, I, I lived I've, in New York. I've, I've always hated the because defense. You know what I'm saying? Well, why? Because that no, no, because isn't an answer. It's not a reason. It's mm. just because. You know, it's just, I, I lived yeah, that, in that, New York for for a little while. Of and, course you did. Uh, I I ran into uh, quite a bit of the the famous New York attitude, like you were talking about the the reason. Well, you know, it's New York. Yeah, it's New York. Whatever. But it really is just a city full of people that don't know what the fuck they're doing. So they're looking a lot of times to grab onto one thing, and it's well, I'm from New York. You know, that's all that it is. I mean, my, the, the building I lived in sucked. It's way too expensive. Sure, the people are nice at times, but everybody's trying way too hard in New York. It's like, it's like the East Coast Hollywood. Everybody's yeah. trying way too hard. And yeah. if they would just relax, you know, and, and I think a lot of it has the, the, one, the two things that New York's got, Broadway and Wall Street. If those two things weren't there, it would be, it would be fucking Columbus, Ohio. By the way, they also have a place called Battery Park. Whatever. Which, Fucking Battery Park. I'm just saying. But you know, did you know if, if Washington, D.C. fell, if it was, if the, you know where the next capital of the United States would be? St. Louis. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Okay. This For is sure. a weird turn. I don't know what the fuck we're talking I don't about. Either. Right. If there's any no, no, other. I want, I, want, I want to see where he's going with this. This has got a real national treasury yeah. kind of feel to it. I want to see where <laughs> If, if New York fell due to a uh, terrorist strike or anything, uh, the whole financial division of, of, of the world would move to the West Coast. So how are they the greatest? To me, the greatest wait, 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 targets. Wait. They took down the Twin Towers like 13 but years they took ago. Down Wall Street. But why? why? That's where they should, they should have taken down. They should have taken down Wall Street. If they, they, take, take, the stock they, couldn't, they, could, they couldn't have taken down Wall Street because the Dark Knight Rises hadn't come out yet, so Bane hadn't shown them the proper way to dismantle Wall Street. Right. Man, if they would have just waited and watched a movie instead of read a fucking book. Well, you yeah. know, that is that is what the government did, though. When, when that shit happened, they went and got a bunch of directors of fucked up movies like James Cameron and Quentin Tarantino and Michael Bay, especially Michael Bay, and asked them – if, if, if you Bay. were going to take down, like, you know, America, how would you do it? And to me, that's when this country lost their mind. When when the government it basically says, we don't know what the fuck we're doing, let's go get Michael Bay to tell us how to blow shit up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, but, I mean, every all these great movies somehow end up in New York City. Yeah. You know, when you're watching a great, like, like a great action movie or something, it's like, you know, it's in New York. It's, you know, they end up in New York. The bomb's headed to New York City. Why? Yeah, why? Blow well, something blame, else up. I blame Stan in Kansas. You know, if, if, if they weren't so focused on like New York City, they could be taken out. They could be Ohio. taken out Seattle, North Dakota, South Dakota, Wisconsin, Ohio. You don't have to name Georgia. every state, Rum. <laughs> I'm just saying I they do, could take I, out multiple <laughs> targets, except they would just overly cripple. No, dude, New York's. I got you. Hannibal. Have you had your Nicolas Cage moment yet? I, I no, I, I haven't. I, I, I'm, I'm torn with Nicolas Cage. I think Nicolas Cage is just he's, he's, he's just got to he, he's just got to just be like, you know what? I don't want this role. I just that's all he's got to do is just say, you know what? I, I don't want to do this. That's all he's got to do. Just must, I don't want to do this. He must wake up every morning and wish he paid his taxes. Yeah, it just all he's got to do is just say no to something once once in a while. Well, like, you, you know what? This is a bad idea, and I don't want to do it. Well, you know he's he's contractually obligated to do all those shitty movies, right? Because he he had he was like Wesley Snipes. He didn't pay his taxes, and I think the the like a film company bailed him out. That's why he had to do really? so many shitty movies. Yeah, I, I don't remember <laughs> the exact <laughs> circumstances, but no, I bet he wishes he paid his taxes by now. 
That is well, actually think, kind of badass. I like you know what? You just gave me a great business model for the future. Like I'm gonna find all of these celebrities that didn't pay their taxes, bail them out, and then make them work for me forever. I'm going to <laughs> I am going to become an entertainment dictator because of Buck Lightning. That is awesome. All right, that, that is like, great. Let's, let's, get, let's get Carrot Top on the phone. That, he's, he's number oh, one. Larry. And, and Polly Shore. Well, sure. we could do Carrot Top sequel to Chairman of the Board. Oh, my oh. God. I saw five minutes of that the other day. <laughs> Holy shit. That might be the worst movie of all time. No, that is the greatest movie of all time. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to kick you out of your own house. Fuck that. <laughs> that movie is so bad. I like it's like I used to like his act when I was 12. Who? <laughs> Carrot, Carrot Top. Top? Yeah. When I was 12, I thought he was funny. As I got old, I was like, well, I don't know if he was funny when I was 12 or if I was too stupid to realize he's not funny. A little bit of Or both. if he's gotten worse over the years because he has not changed his act. That movie, I, 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 I can't quantify. I can't, <laughs> can't even say anything about it's it. It's so bad. It's, does, it's it, does anybody find it creepy that, that Sean White kind of? It looks like Carrot Top. A little bit. Yeah, Sean White very much looks like Carrot Top. I think more. it's weird. Not anymore yeah. though, because no, because Car- Carrot Top looks like a uh, like Bane. No, Carrot Top kind of reminds me of like some fucking transsexual in between surgeries. Well, you know that that reminds me of my favorite thing about Carrot Top. This is supposedly a hundred percent fact. His dick and titties. No. Okay. Um, well. Carrot Top <laughs> refuses to have sex unless it's two women at a time. Well, if he wow. does a show and a woman who's like the finest woman you've ever seen in your life comes up to him and says, I want to fuck your brains out, he will respond, do you have a sister or a friend? And if the answer is no, move on. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, I need to just quantify this for one second. Do both chicks have to be hot or does it just have to be two chicks? Because if it's I don't like. I know that. Like, if it's like a paraplegic grandmother in the corner, you know what I'm saying? Does, like, they see, do they both have to actively be involved? I would uh, well, assume they both have to be involved. I don't necessarily think they both have to be hot. Well, I, a I just find it fascinating. Huh? Paraplegic grandmother? I, I like that. That's well, oh, yeah. that's so going to be the name of this show. If you Hannibal think about the it, animal and the paraplegic grandmother. I, if you <laughs> think about it, she's the last one that's going to be able to get away. I mean, sure. Right. Like I, I guess I was, she'd be she'd act like ballast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I was. No, I was just saying. I had a, I had me and my girl had this long conversation about cheating last night, and we were talking about what counts and what doesn't count. And I had asked. Her, I said so. If I was saying that she was saying that if we were watching, have you guys ever seen Chosen before? It just got canceled on FX. I Anybody? want to see it because we're actually friends with one of the guys who who worked on it, but I never got around to it. I missed mo- I missed almost the entire season of Archer this past year. Yeah, it, it's it's the best. It's it's by far my favorite of all the canceled animated shows. Um, I used to think um oh, there was another one that used to come on um strip was called, No, I think it was unsupervised. Yeah, okay. used to come on, uh, on FX, but uh, no, Chosen is hilarious. But there's like this this scene where like this guy is at, like these two girls ask this guy like, hey, we want to have sex and we want you to watch, and he asked Siri if that was cheating, and Siri was like, I don't understand the question. He's like, oh, good enough for me, and then he goes and watches <laughs> and have sex, and then my girl paused and she was like, just so you know, that's cheating, and I'm like, how is that cheating if I'm just if I'm if I'm in the, if I'm just watching? And she's like, well, you can't watch two people have sex, and I was like, she was like, basically, if two if if somebody's having sex and I'm in the room, then I'm cheating on her for being in the room, even if I'm non-participatory. And How does I'm that like, work that's with not porn, right? But see, porn, she's like, it doesn't count because you're watching the porn through the screen, so it's not like if I was in the room while they were filming said porn, she would have an issue with it. But if I'm watching porn at post recorded, that seems like, arbitrary. So, see, so basically, the the logic to me dictates that if you're staring at people having sex through glass, it's yeah. okay. Okay, exactly. so wear, wear glasses. That's what she said. That's exactly what Hannibal, she said. I, I got I got a counter argument for you to go back to her with. Okay. Okay. If you're watching people have sex, but you don't come, that is not cheating. Like, yeah. if all I'm doing... Well, what are the odds of that? Well, well you've never got... <laughs> You've never not, not ejaculated when people have been naked in front of you. I'm just saying. If I just, you, I just, I just go everywhere, man. I'm just. You don't want to sit in my house. I, fuck, <laughs> you already have. I'm never going to your house again. I'm not moving to Savannah. 
No, I'm just saying. Get it. Well, if you get a lumen on a black it, it can't be cheating because otherwise you're just looking at naked bodies. And wait, look, I've, I've I've looked at documentaries where people were naked. I've looked in J.C. Penney's catalogs. Well, okay, it might not have been J.C. Penney's catalog. <laughs> <laughs> More like Fredericks of Hollywood, right? Wait, though. I mean, Hannibal, honestly, if 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 she's gonna say that you're cheating and these two people are in the room, you might as well join in. Right, that's what I was saying. My my argument was if there was a Hello? Am I still there? Yeah, you're here, man. Okay, okay. I, I, I swear to God, I thought the phone just dropped the call again. But I was going to say, I said to her, if there was a paraplegic grandmother, right, that was naked in the room, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, I, I threw out all these crazy scenarios, and I'm like, this can't all be cheating. Like, if, like, say I'm in a in a room, and I'm wearing all white, and then two other people come in the room having sex, and they don't notice me because I'm wearing a white mask. I'm wearing a court of owls mask, and I'm wearing all white in a white room, and they just don't see me. And then they're fucking. It's like I don't think that should count as cheating because I didn't, you know, I didn't like walk into the room with the, I didn't wear the white with the intention of watching them have sex. You know what I'm right, saying? I right. feel like so you're, you're I, going I just, with the accidental. Bit. You're going with the accidental voyeur thing. Yeah, it was just that the accident. I, like, I didn't mean to do. Like, what do you want me to cover my eyes and run out the nearest window? I'm not going to do like, that. Like well, eyes wide like, shut and shit. You know? you know, you watch a lot of movies. I mean, what if you're in the theater and some dude just starts like fingering his girlfriend? It happens sometimes. A dude just goes knuckle deep. Is that cheating? Just because you happen to be next to the dude? Just because you happen to smell her like really, really, you know, because she's really fucking funky down there? Is that cheating? Uh, I, I guess on a, on a like a aromatherapy type <laughs> level, it could be cheating. I mean, if you're smelling the, oh, I don't, really? why oh, are we even going therapy? What why, the why are we even going into this conversation? I would look if you could bottle that shit, I'd, I'd sell it. Yeah, yeah, you know. Oh my god. Yeah, really? have the scent of pussy. Pussy. Mm, yeah. yeah, that's right. When you go into the gas stations and sell yeah. the incense sticks, it's called pussy. Yeah, no, I, no, they have the little spray bottles you spray in your car. <laughs> look, I got I mean, you you probably I've all met that in my car. Like this before, but I have a story that I cannot share on Radio DCP because it's family friendly. But when I was in the college program. Our uh, sister room, like with the girls. Yes. One of their roommates, her pussy was so fucking funky that as How soon as was she... it? <laughs> it was so funky. Look, <laughs> we would open the door. She would be in her room with the door closed. We would open the door to their apartment. As soon as your nose hit the fucking door frame, it was like being hit in the face. With fucking musky, humid pussy smell. No. So she I had like pussy. She, she, you not. She had like pussy pyrrhea. We we called her stank pussy. Stank she, pussy. She's <laughs> this girl. And one time was she, she a fucking, big girl? Uh, she was a fair, a fair size. Mm-hmm. One time she fucking like bled on this fucking sofa. We we could, just to do it, or was there a reason? I think she was just dripping, and we could not whisk that shit out. Okay, he said whisk. He got the whiskey. Well, out. they didn't have oxyclean back then. This uh, thing, they used whisk. It, it, was, it was like fucking fifty six degrees outside, but as soon as you went in, you had to take off a jacket because her pussy lit up the room. <laughs> You had to take the jacket off because you were smelly. That's, that's stink. a shame, man. You go through life with your shit smelling like that. That's all. Man, damn. Oh, oh, by, by the way, by the way, this girl was also a prostitute. She well, used to turn around. Where did they go? Where did they go? See, she that's what you got to lead with in this story. You got to yeah. be like, oh, I, I, I forgot until I started thinking about it. She, was, she like, used to turn tricks. They used to have, like, and it was very specific. It was all the African exchange students, like literally oh, African, not, not black, African. They would call no, you, up her, or their apartment and be like, hello, is Amy there? My way. And <laughs> and her roommates would be like, "No, bitch, left. Uh, Fucking stop calling." Oh, I just, that's the I, I need that. I, I don't know. I, just, phone. I need that every time. Every, every time somebody texts my phone, I need that exact sound bite. Just now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need that exactly. I need that specifically. That's just. Well, see, that's what you got to lead with in the story. It's just like, yeah. So I used to live next to this prostitute who only had sex with smelly Africans, and then because, <laughs> because at that point, no, no, no. The, the the Africans were clean. It was her that was fucking smelly. And when they left, they were smelly. Well, and you it, know, to to every every everybody. I mean, you can go into like sporting goods stores and buy scents of you know like pheromone scents. I mean, I guess that works. 
and sporty goods stores. Uh, yeah, like 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 Bass Pro and and oh. Gander Mountain and places like that. You can buy like like. Uh, go get like fox urine and spray it on you. Fox urine. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be Lady Gaga's new identity. Uh, yeah, fox <laughs> urine. Um, yeah, no, I got I got a shit. That's the thing. I got a shitload of fucked up stories from the college program, but I, I just. I, you know, there's so many that, like, as I get older, I just forget more and more. But we we had some. Well, wow. that's what happens. I mean, it's called Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> Rum knows very well. I work with him, and I'm friends with one, aren't I, Wayne? Yeah. Anyway, yep. uh, what? <laughs> well, Hannibal, I gotta tell you, like, I I I love I love your uh, you know, what's eating Hannibal moments, uh, specifically because you know we have we have a segment that we've been doing since the start of the show yeah. called. Adams quit being a pussy. Yep, pretty much. But the problem is, is that there's too much. I drive for a living, and by the time, like, because I'll have something like I'm, oh, I'm fucking fired up, and I want to talk about. I can't wait till we do the show tonight. I'm gonna fucking talk. I'll fuck that bitch. I'll, you know, I just want to go off. But by the time I get here, I've been thinking about it in my head all day as I've been driving, because you know, driving is a very mindless thing to do you know you're like you're on autopilot so you're just thinking about the same shit over and over again by the time i get here it's kind of not a rant it's just me talking about shit that kind of bugged me earlier in the day yeah he's like this is out of sophia pussy yeah you know <laughs> um they had this lady who cut me off she sucked yeah that's it but I find <laughs> the fact that you can hold on to your your uh being upset Oh yeah, but I like I like I as things happen to me on a day to day basis, I'll just save them in my phone and be like, oh man, this is gonna be a great rant for the show, and I just I just store them up for a while and just be like, oh man, I can't wait to talk about these fucking shitty foreign people at Microsoft, and then just <laughs> and and just get ready to go, man. I just I just got them sta- saved up. Like, I got like five or ten that I haven't touched on yet. Um, so um, I'm actually gonna be introducing a new segment on the show uh uh this Sunday. Oh, cool. So um it ought to be cool. I and I don't know exactly what I'm gonna call it yet, but the 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 segment the the basis of the segment is um I I work with this girl, Phyllis Serena, and she's really fat. During the Microsoft event, she ended up uh her water broke and she said, "Oh shit, we had to rush her to the hospital. She's having a baby." And I didn't know she was pregnant cuz she's fat. And I was like, <laughs> So the, the 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 question you know the the, the segment is gonna be how to ask rude questions like what's the most polite way to ask fucked up questions like how do you ask a fat person if I, they're pregnant? If they're pregnant. I have what's a the, story what's about the that. What's the polite What's the polite way to do that? Look, uh, I don't think there really is a when polite I was, way. When I was eighteen, just I poke them with a stick. Yeah, but then but then you still got to be the guy that well one you got to always have a stick. And then two, you got to be the guy walking around poking people with a stick. Dude, I always have a stick. Look, when Where I was when I was eighteen, I worked in this restaurant. It was my first job, and we had this chick. I don't even remember her name, but she was probably like twenty eight, thirty, something like that. And uh, and she was fat. One day we were sitting at the bar before you know uh, business started started taking off because it was like five. You know, you get there at five. Shit don't really start happening until six thirty seven on a Friday night. And uh, we were talking, and she's like. Yeah, I'm going on maternity leave like soon. And I looked at it and I was like, Oh, you're pregnant? And she was like, Yeah. And there was this just real awkward silence <laughs> when we both realized and I just thought You she don't was just fat. say that. <laughs> oh you, wait. I'm sorry, you, I got a better pregnancy story. This shit apparently has happened to me a few times in life. <laughs> when I started Imagine college that. I look, when I started college I was really attracted to this kind of hippie chick. And uh you know that there that's on the hippie shakes? I thought it was called the hippie shay, so I used to refer to girls that were kind of hippies as like, oh, she's got a hippie shay, because I didn't understand the fucking song. <laughs> and there's this girl I used to, you know, tell people, yeah, there's this really cute chick with the hippie shay. And uh, one day we were walking back from English classes, my first semester, I was probably like just a couple weeks in, and I was like, look, uh, you want to go out and get some dinner sometime? And she stops. She looks at me. She's like, you realize I'm pregnant, right? And I looked down, and she had a little bit of a belly. <laughs> and I was like, no, I did not realize this. Well, what's that got to do with her eating food? I yeah. assume she'd be more hungry. Well, she, she had a boyfriend, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, because with white people, you got to think about that. Like with <laughs> black girls, it's like she could be pregnant <laughs> and you still. Why, why, why you got to be racist? Why are you assuming she's white? I mean, she was, but well, why you got to assume? I, 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 I wasn't. When you said, when you, you had me at hippie, that's what it was. Like, I know there's yeah, black, black hippies. hippies. They are. They they they're there, but it's like it, black, really. 
I, I mean, know, yeah, I, no. I think they call them sluts in your community, but you know what? Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> but there's, there's definitely no. There's black. There's like the real deal, like black hippies, new age movement. You know, buy all this shit at Whole Foods. You know, I don't believe in preservative. Like, you know, what's funny to me about hippies is like hippies fucking are the hippies I know. I, as I said, the hippies are like super particular about what foods they ingest. You know, like, oh, I won't eat this because it's murder. I won't eat that because it got preservatives, this is that. But then you bring them to a music festival and they will consume any drug anybody gives them. Like, yep. it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where it comes from. It's just like, hey, here you go. Like, fucking, like, I don't hate hippies like Cartman from South Park, but I definitely feel some kind of way about them. I, I've grown to just like, just because there's so much bullshit. Like, uh, I don't I, like the new age hippie thing. I think that's stupid. And this, you know what? This is a good time for me to bring up, like, real quickly my, my little theory. Like, whenever I see people online talking about, like, the new age hippie kind of yeah, thing, where yeah. it's telling you to save the planet and all that, and you got to recycle. Don't get me wrong. I agree with recycling. I like recycling. But if you want to save Condoms the planet, count, though. this is how you save the planet. Don't fucking buy your little shitty ass Prius. Don't, don't fucking, like, solar panels. Fuck all that. If you want to save the planet, don't have fucking kids. Go out Damn and it. adopt a child. Raise that child to be a responsible human being. Give them an education. Teach them to fucking wear a condom. Or Basically a recycle people. Yes. Yeah. And there you within go. two there generations, you, you will have saved the planet far more than fucking putting Coke cans in a recycle bin. I don't know. Brought man. to you wish, by Captain Planet. <laughs> I wish I wish we had I wish we had a modest applause button so we yeah. could play that right yeah. now because yeah. that was that, that was that was an awesome rant. That was a good job. I, I was I was that was I appreciate. I might, steal, you. You. I might steal your rant for one of my later rants. I mean, uh, they, they've been uh, trying to do that for years. At the, like, rate, at the rate that Monty and the Mongoose have been actually recording shows, it's going to take you twenty seven <laughs> years to get twelve in. Yeah. It, 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 <laughs> And we're, and we're so close to 200, too. So it's just like, oh, man, I really want to get to that 200 show because I already got the theme uh, uh, for the show. I want to do, uh, you know, the worst fan bases of all time, you know, and people just all across the board that have the worst fans, you know what I'm saying, whether they're Twilight fans, Laker fans, fucking, you know, whatever. It's just the worst fan bases, the worst groups of people to become fans of anything. And that's that I, I, I'm going to have and I want to have. I want to have a thousand guests on that show, you know, where we can sit down and talk about the worst fans. I like that. History. Well, you know what? I want y'all to do 200 because I want y'all to get to show 300 because, you know, at show 300, Monty is going to wear like uh, like uh, 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 what is it? A Spartan gear. He's going to he's going to show up (laughs) with a shield, with the kilt, with the whole fuck, like a little like like sheet covering his dick. Yeah, I'm. I'm like, point, yeah. Look, you do it all the time. I'm well, like, you've had a lot of thought. I'm kind of disturbed right yeah, now. Yeah, he's thinking about Monty's dick as he's poking at mine. I, I'm not poking yours. Well, whatever. I don't have tweezers anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I want y'all to get to 300 because you know that's just gonna happen. It definitely. See, now I want to get to 300 just so we could all just be in 300. Oh, look. Yeah, <laughs> yeah look, I'll, I'll put it out of here right now. If we get to, if we get to 300, I'll do it. Fuck. <laughs> You almost there now. I know, right? Let's do it. You're wearing a sheet. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm wearing a sheet. That's right. What are you? What are you? The New Year's Eve baby? I am. No, no, no. They're white sheets. Anyway, uh... what? What are you in a clan? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah, you know me. <laughs> got my hood and everything. Yes. Wow. Yes. Just ghost. Oh, oh, oh. You got a little eyes cut out. You going boo? I'm going boo. Boo, <laughs> motherfucker, boo. <laughs> boo. Anyway. <laughs> How long have we been recording? Oh, I don't know, a couple hour and a half. Time flies by when you're talking to Hannibal. That's it. Oh, we love talking to Hannibal. That's why we, you know, we, well, as as long as your your phone stays connected. Yeah, That's right. <laughs> yeah. Look, I got I got the system worked out now, so I, I'm I'm all good. You know what I'm saying? Just like I think. Whenever my screen went black, like like you know how the backlight uh will go out on your phone sometimes, like the screensaver or whatever. Yeah. It's like whenever that happens, my phone would just disconnect Skype. They just like, oh, okay, well you're not on Skype no more. I'm like, hey, how'd you make that decision? You don't ask me <laughs> on the phone. Oh shit. <laughs> That's fucking perfect. Hannibal. Jesus Christ. Uh, Hannibal. Okay. What the All fuck? Right, the, the irony. The irony of that you is take not off lost. your tinfoil hat. The yeah. irony and, and the timing of that is not lost on me. Um, <laughs> no, I, I have this. I have an app on my phone. Uh, it's called the Battery Doctor, and it's like uh, when I hooked up the car charger 
to uh so I'm sitting just so you guys know, I'm sitting outside of a Barnes and Nobles <laughs> next to the movie theater so I could steal their Wi Fi so I could get on <laughs> Skype so so I could do no, because look, Skype eats up my data plan, all right? So I got to look. So I, I, I'm doing all this so I could be on the show because I said I would do it, and, and Hannibal's a man of his word. If he said he's going to do something, we then right. he's going to do it. Right. Uh, well, look, so it's just, why don't you give us some, because uh, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and uh, end it, why don't you give us some links, uh, tell people where to find the bastards, and... Uh, and, of course, your little show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that? I, I, I let me do. Uh, let me promote Monty and the Mongooses' little show first, because if it wasn't for their opportunities, you know, I wouldn't be on the show with you fine guys right now. It's very awesome. It's good. Like, cause we're we're friends on Facebook, so now we get to talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Outside of outside of our show, you guys, I can be on your show now too, and it's awesome. And since I'm the most dynamic member of Monty and the Mongooses' little show, it, it's only That's right. True. And look, you know, when I was on your show, I promised you that I would help you get your name on the title. That's right. Okay, because I I think it should be Hannibal the Beat Animals Big Show. That's right. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do Hannibal's Big Show one of these days. Like it's going to happen. I, I got to get everything just right for it. Like I want to get a bunch of guests on, and just it's gonna be it's gonna be like the Eric Andre show on Adult Swim. Like it's gonna be like <laughs> it's gonna be random and asinine. You know what I'm saying? So well, that's what I we wanna, specialize uh, in. So I'm gonna. It's gonna be. It's gonna be great. Now I'm gonna try to power us to the 200 episode. We might even have to do weekly shows, so that way I can get to 200. And I want you guys to be on the 200 show, so we can sure, talk yeah. about the shit. We'd fan be on bases definitely. Dude. I, I definitely think people that believe that Star Wars, you know, Phantom Menace, you know, uh, 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 one, two, and three are better than four, five, and six. Those are some of the worst fans of all time, and that's just one of the many shitty fan bases that I want to call out on on the 200th show. So. <laughs> Is that. Anyway, the, uh, my name is Hannibal the Bee Animal. I am a part of uh, Monty and the Mongoose's little show. My name is not in the title, you know, but, you know, fuck those guys. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no all, right, all jokes aside, we actually had a conversation once where Monty and, and the Mongoose were like, hey, you know, we think we ought to change the show to something else, you know, so you, your name could be in the title. Or we could just call the show something else. And I was like, I was like, no, I love that the show is called Monty and the Mongoose's Little Show. You know what I'm saying? And then people was like, oh, you're on the show, but why is your name not in the title? I think that's awesome because then it forces people to just keep talking about it. So I, right. I, I like I like running gags. You know what I'm it's saying? Good. It's okay. It's good. You know, speaking of which, you know, if any of, you know, I, I don't know how big you guys' fan base is, but if anybody from Seth MacFarlane's team is what, is listening to the show, um, you know, when we go live with this, uh, when, you know, when he posted, um, I think they should bring back the newspaper gag from American Dad in the intro. I think they should bring that back. <laughs> if anyone I, from Seth MacFarlane's team is listening, Seth MacFarlane is the biggest hack in Hollywood. He is. He is. Like, that, uh, there's, there's an episode coming up of, uh, uh, the Simpsons merge with, uh, yeah, with family, family guy. guy yeah. Right. And you know, a lot, I think a lot of that's going to get addressed and like how much the Simpsons has influenced, uh, oh, yeah. family guy. So I want to see, but anyway, Hannibal the Bee animal. I'm, I'm from, uh, Monty and the Mongoose's little show. We broadcast on FZ dash 99.com and block talk radio. Um, uh, our show comes on sun. Like when we do broadcast, <laughs> Which uh is <laughs> like once in a you know, every every like whenever Mayweather fights, that's when we broadcast the show. Uh, <laughs> you know, so but it's like uh we we broadcast uh on Sundays uh four to six PM Eastern time, five uh three to five central time. And uh we're just three guys that like to talk about movies, comic books, toys and video <laughs> games. We never stay on topic. Um and we have such esteemed listeners as Michael Bay, Paul W.S. Anderson, Brett Ratner. Pretty much all the shitty directors in Hollywood really love our show. And they, you know, they take <laughs> on um on some of the shows that we talk about. Um, I actually got one. Like, uh, we came up with a great formula for uh, shitty movies. All you have to do is take any natural disaster and then mix that with any animal. And there's your movie. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm pitching uh, Porky Quake. You know, where it's like uh, <laughs> and porcupines come up from the streets of California uh, and attack people. So porky quick. <laughs> I don't know. Torrential Puma sounds like like gay porn. To Torrential me. Puma. Yeah, it does sound like yeah. gay porn. It does. Punami. Right. Punami. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like, like some shit Rum would come up with, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a, like, like a toilet went crazy. It's a punami. 
But then look, if you take the Punami and the Sharknado, you know what I'm saying? You could do an, a, a, a thing where it's like the... the yeah, it's like a okay. bunch of... Like, I don't really know how you would justify having, like, a bunch of Pumas in a Tsunami, but if you could find a way to get the Punami and the Sharknado, then you would have, like, the perfect... That'd be like, if that ever came on, like... Punami versus Sharknado. That's it. Yeah, Punami versus Sharknado on sci-fi, I would fucking watch that. Yeah, I would watch it all too. I'm I, 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 would, I would find them on Facebook and friend them. Yep. Yeah, look, look, starring Kevin Sorbo, starring... Oh. <laughs> um, um, Lorenzo Lamas. Hey, don't don't uh, forget Carrot Top. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Top. Rock, rock. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. my God! Did y'all see that they came up? They finally did that. Uh, like it's not by Sylvester Stallone, but they did that Expendables female thing. No. Oh yeah, fucking Brigitte Nielsen's in it. Cynthia Rothrock. They fuck look beat up. Really? Yeah, it's from that company that does shit like Transmorphers and shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't think of their name, like, but the yeah, company I, that does I, knockoffs. Yeah, they look, look, Google the trailer. It's I can't think of what the name of it is. But, it's like, it's oh, like Expendabellas or something like no, that. No, no, that was the rumor. No, it, it ends up being called something like not Bounty Hunters, but uh, like something like that. Like, I want to get a bunch of fat guys. Just Google and call Cynthia it Rothrock and B- Expendable. B- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Starring Everybody's John. in Jiggins. Oh, like, John Hannibal's going again. John Goodman. All right, as soon as he comes back on, we got to end this. <laughs> yeah, I mean we're going hard. That's fucking funny. Expandable series. Y'all good. keep keep y- y'all keep going on a different top. I'm like, is this ending? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Hannibal. Let's uh, so fz-99.com is where you can find <laughs> Monty and the Mongoose right. little show. Right. Or and you can find us on Blog Talk Radio, and and I'm 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 a music producer. I actually produced uh, this song called "Heart of the City." Who that for the Saints the year that the Saints won the Super Bowl? Actually, uh, we actually just talked to some people at Comcast about them playing the song on TV for commercials during uh, uh, the Saints preseason game. So cool. that's you know, awesome. that's that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, now, if they want to pay us, that'd be even better. And and, and what ever, about what about the band? Has, has that ever worked before, writing the senator? Okay. Um, I want to. Oh, you sent them hookers. Let just see how they, Oh, there you go. Send them to Vegas. There we go. The, uh, or Bourbon Street. The Sheffman Tour Highway. Um, <laughs> airline Highway. I don't know why I'm going so far east. We can just go to Airline Highway. That's even closer. The band, the band that I manage and produce is called The Bastards. Uh, you can find them on Twitter.com, Instagram, uh, Facebook, SoundCloud, YouTube, backslash MF and Bastards. Everything for them is MF and Bastards. So it's SoundCloud.com slash MF and Bastards. And Bastards is B-A-S-T-E-R-D-S. So you can find them on SoundCloud, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. It's all MF and Bastards, MF and Bastards. Uh, they're an awesome group. We got a bunch of cool videos. If you search Masterpiece Theater, Transformers, you'll find our Transformers videos. Got like a million hits on youtube so it's a pretty cool group last thing i'm gonna say before i get off the phone first off, i'm so glad you guys had me on the show it was awesome hanging out with y'all even, even though my phone hung up a baker's dozen um <laughs> times but um you know it was, it was very cool being on the show you know the irony is i probably could have took my mask off uh since we're not on skype but I <laughs> <laughs> so hindsight i um you know should have thought about that but then you would have uh, been authentic so that wouldn't it wouldn't be me so the, all right, the last thing I'm going to say is, uh, so one of the, the members of the Bastards, uh, her name is Live Action Anime. Uh, she uh, just got out of the hospital. She's been in the hospital for two and a half months. She went in thinking uh, she had a mild fever, went to the emergency, uh, went to the doctor, doctor sent her to the emergency room, and come to find out she had a very rare bronchial infection, and they kept her in intensive care for two and a half months. Wow, Damn. wow. Yeah. She's uh, also, for anybody who wants to know, she's also the girl that sings the chorus on Heart of the City. Who that? So, you know, it's like, who, you know, so if you're not experienced, if you don't know who the Bastards are, or if you've never heard the Bastards music, uh, she's also, for uh, any Saints fan, she's also the girl who sings the chorus on Heart of the City. Her name is Kaniqua Stewart, um, and she just got out the hospital. She, uh, we re, uh, she just relocated, uh, from Atlanta, Georgia to Alexandria, Louisiana to kind of, uh, finish up her, um, uh, you know her re- re- rehab so she can get her muscle weight back and just because she got to learn to walk again they had to do a tracheotomy and all of this type all this crazy shit, shit. Jesus. 
Yeah, she does. She's better now. Um, but what we've done is we've created a, uh, uh, me and my production partners created a GoFundMe, uh, for her just to kind of help her and her family get her money up, uh, and just help her with medical costs and, and, um, you know, the cost of rehabilitation and stuff like that. So if anybody's interested in donating anything, um, you can go to GoFundMe.com backslash support LA, you know, support like, you know, like you would support something and LA, like the city LA. Um, so anybody can go to GoFundMe.com slash support LA. Uh, we have a page set up for, we actually, we weren't really asking for a lot of money and we've already gotten more than we expected to. Um, her birthday is next Tuesday. So I'm hoping to have, you know, a little something that we can give her next week and just say, hey, you know, we did something for you. There's a real cool video that we have on YouTube that anybody can check out. It's posted all over Facebook, and you can find it on the GoFundMe page. Cool. And, uh, so def- definitely everybody go check this out because that's important. Yeah, yeah. And Hannibal, send us the link on Facebook so we can put it on our, our website and shit too. I, I sure will, guys. And, and like I said before, thanks for having me on. I know I can run my mouth. Just like, just and for the record, if anybody's ever met Hannibal to be Animal, or rather, if, nobody, if you've never met Hannibal to be Animal before, and somebody says to you, oh, yeah, I met Hannibal. He was real quiet. He didn't really say much. You know they're full of shit. Okay. <laughs> You know they're they're lying. They they just make it. They've never met me before, and I fucking run my mouth. Um, so <laughs> well, Hannibal, there you go. Listen to Hannibal. Right. Well, guys, it's been fun hanging out with y'all. I'm going to find the nearest theater, which is literally forty feet away, and go see Guardians of the Galaxy. Sounds awesome. good. All right. Well, uh, I was your host, Wayne. I'm uh, I'm Adam. You know he was the rum guy. And thanks again, Hannibal, for coming on the show, dude. And- Thanks for having me, guys. Enjoy the movie, and we'll see you later. My name is Optimus Prime. We are autonomous robotic organisms from the planet Cybertron. But you can call us Autobots for short.
The following movie is rated R. Oh, yo, yo, my fault, my fault, baby. Yo, easy. That's my fan, though. That's my fan. From the producers of Mayhem. What? Blast off. MFN? Hands down. Yo, 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 y'all gotta forgive, baby. I'm about to black out. In association with the studio responsible for Mike and Life, Uh oh. the Inglorious Project, oh, and DNA. Rock that for you, baby. What happens when five of the world's most feared beasts yeah. join forces with three of the Earth's most diabolical deviants? Get the fuck out of here. Civilization survived the epic merger of two audio powerhouses. I don't think Will so. life as we know it ever be the same? <laughs> the five. Yeah. The bastards. Yeah. Eight savages. Yeah. Nine tracks. Monster beast. Yeah. My fault, people. You know, quiet. And quiet you shall have. <laughs> Never come in the grand bride again. <laughs>